So, hi ladies, it's your girl Angel. Um, I just want to do a quick update because today is Cycle Day 13, which is ovulation day for me. Um, in my previous update that I did a couple days ago, I told you guys that I was a little confused as to whether I was on Cycle Day 11 or 13 at the time. So today I will be on Cycle Day 13 or 15. I'm pretty sure it's Cycle Day 13 today, just because I always ovulate on Cycle Day 13. Um, and... Um, I woke up this morning. I forgot to take my ovulation, ovulation test right away in the morning. I kind of went downstairs, started doing other stuff, and got sidetracked. So once I realized it, you know, I, I started feeling some pain down in my ovaries. I was like, you know what, let me take my ovulation test. So I came upstairs, I grabbed my um, Devion Medical ovulation test, and I took that, um, which came off of eBay. They were really cheap, too. Um, but I also had some leftover... Um, wonderful 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 i don't know how you say it ovulation test um i've got about maybe five or six ovulation tests left um so that should get me through at least two more cycles um because i pretty much know the day i ovulate and i try to only pee on a stick then um because then i'll get obsessed with it but i took one of those as well just because i wanted to kind of compare the results and see you know which one i like better which one i got a darker positive on or if i got a positive on both um, just to make sure that they were both accurate. So I, sorry, I'm going to try to move my camera's glare. That's coming in from the window. It's going to aggravate me. So, better. Okay, but anyway, uh, there it is. Move over a little bit more. Okay, better. I'm sorry that I had to, like, move the camera, but the glare was, like, getting on my nerves. I'm recording it with my webcam so I can look down and see it. But anyway, so, I took both the ovulation tests this morning, and I'm going to show them to you guys. I took them at about 11. It's about 12.54 now, so they're almost, well, I took them at 11.30, so they're about an hour and a half old. So, this is the first one I took. This one is the um, Devion Medical. I'm trying to get in close so you guys can see it. So, the line that's closest to the blue is my test line and then the one that's further to the outside is actually the control no sorry inside by the blue is the control and then the outside is the test line um it's actually darker in person but the webcam doesn't do it justice so that's the Devion medical um ovulation test that i took it will help if I put it upside, well, the right way so you guys can see. And then this one is my wonderful, or wonderful ovulation test. Try to get that to where you guys can see. Sorry, the glare is like really bad. But once again, closest to the inside is going to be control, and then the outside is going to be the test line. So the test line on this one is clearly way more positive than the control line um as well as on the Devion medical the test line is way more darker than the control line it may not look like it because of the lighting on the webcam but sorry it sucks it's the best i can do i've gone from room to room to see which one has the best lighting and this one tends to have the best lighting so anyway um i got my positive on my opk so what i did um, I'd asked my husband to come home on his lunch break anyway, but he was like, you know, I don't think so. It's going to be a waste of time just for me to come home for an hour and have to turn around and go back to work. So I was like, okay, you know what? This, oh, well, you know, I won't be mad at him because he's right. Waste of gas. Gas is like three fifty in Raleigh now. So, um, I was like, you know what? You don't have to come home. But when I got the positive, I emailed him a picture and I was like, you need to come home right now so we can get it on. Because in past cycles, what we had been doing, we knew cycle day 13 was ovulation day, but my husband works at 8 to 5. And when he gets home, you know, I cook dinner or I'm doing homework. I'm constantly getting from classes. So we will only be D that night of ovulation, um, which, I mean, we would be D at like maybe 11 at night. So it was like close. Normally, I ovulate that late because normally I could test at 5. And then I would get a negative, but I would test again at 11. I would get a positive. 
so it would be D as soon as I got my positive, but when I got the positive early this morning, I was like, well, you know, since my HSG, I have been ovulating a little bit earlier in the day. It's like, you need to come home so we can BD right now. So he came home about, he got here about 12 o'clock. So, um, you know, we did business. Um, and then, you know, I kind of, I lay on the floor and propped my legs up on the bed and then put pillows under my butt to kind of prop up. I sat down there for about 15, um, I'll get 15 minutes and then, you know, I got up, put on a panty liner and kind of got on with the rest of my day and I wanted to make this vlog for you guys. Um, we are planning on beating again tonight when he gets home. Um, so we can probably catch this egg. We didn't beat it yesterday. Um, that was our off day to beat it because we were doing the every other day method. So we didn't beat it yesterday, which I'm glad because that means that his sperm count had time to rebuild for today, which is ovulation day. So we'll beat it again tonight and then we'll probably beat it tomorrow as well. And then the day after that, just to kind of catch the egg to make sure that we don't miss it. Um, the day before yesterday when we BD'd, I did prop up for 15 minutes on the floor, legs on the bed, pillows under my butt, the same way I did today. And I did take my Mekonex, um, my prenatal vitamin as well. Um, this morning, a little bit before I got the positive ovulation test, I went and took my prenatal and my Mekonex. So it had time to kick in before he got home, um, which I told you guys I was taking that to thin out my cervical mucus. It was something that my doctor had recommended to me because my husband does have a low cer sperm count. So that's something for you ladies to look into. Taking Mucinex or I believe he said you could probably take Tussin, Ribotussin, whatever you want to call it. But they have, a, it's some kind of chemical in it. It starts with a G. I really can't pronounce it. I can't remember off the top of my head. But it loosens cervical mucus as well, not just like mucus in your nose and your throat. But it does do the same thing for silver from mucus. So that kind of gives us a leg up. Um, so yeah. So hopefully this cycle will be it. I just want to let you guys know that today was ovulation day. Um, and that we did BD. Um, let's see what else is there for me to tell you guys. New hair as you guys can tell. Um, I don't know. I got I, I was loving the big Diana Ross, Sasha Fierce hair. But... It started getting tangled, and I'm not going to be walking around with no matted bully wish on my head. So, I took it out. Um, and then I'm trying to do makeup look. I don't know if you guys know this, but I have on pink lipstick. I think my lips are gorgeous. But anyway, I just did something simple. I was just kind of, I was playing around, like, when I, uh, I sent the husband the email. I was like, you know what, let me try to doll up. So, I actually combed my hair down, and I just put on eyeliner and some pink lipstick and a little blush. And throw on some earrings and I was like honey let's get it on so um I did try to make it a little spontaneous I didn't do any lingerie on lunch break because then he wouldn't went back to work because he would have been like okay we gotta stay here all day it's like look we gotta do what we gotta do so you can go back to work but probably TMI I'm sorry ladies but anyway I think that's it I'm gonna stop rambling now and I'm doing good. I've been vlogging a lot more. I'm going to go downstairs and do my insanity workout for today, which I've still been doing. Um, it's still kicking my butt, but I still feel a lot better. Um, I can tell the differences in my face as well as my stomach and my legs are starting to slim down a lot. So I'm excited about that. I'm going to keep up with that as well. Um, today is ovulation day which is cycle day 13 so I am officially in my two-week wait ladies so I'll probably do another vlog to update you guys halfway through the two-week wait and then one at the end of the two-week wait once I actually test um I don't know depending on I'm gonna record me doing the the test um, live but I don't know if I'm gonna post it right away depending on the results um, if I post them right away, then it's probably going to be a BFN. If I don't post them right away, then it's probably because, you know, I got a positive and I don't want the husband to know because he'll be in Colorado and I want to kind of hold off until Valentine's Day. Um, I may do something different this cycle. I may actually wait until I miss Aunt Flu before I test instead of jumping the gun at like cycle day 10 or 11. But I haven't made up my mind yet. So once I figure that out, then I'll let you guys know. Um, stay tuned. Rate, comment, subscribe, like this video, please, ladies. Um, and if you aren't, follow me on Facebook. I'll talk to you guys later.
拜。